Hello everybody, this is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a brand new Transformer figure to show you and here we have the Transformer Studio Series 86 Leader Class Slack with the exo suit of Daniel with Wiki. So first up here we have Slack in his robot mode. I'm gonna bring in Daniel later. The first thing I gotta say that he looks really in pair with the Leader Class Grimlock that we got earlier because of the whole proportion color wise and the cartoony colors you know because like i can assure you nowadays that no one is gonna design a, a whole red head with some blue eyes stick on it like this but this is the feel of nostalgic right here and so zoom into some details of him for the head of course you can see that this is a really nice interesting head you got a uh, metallic blue pair of glasses looking eye and this feels like ultra magnus but it is a shame that his whole face is red. I wish that the like, uh, lower mouth section has been white. It, I think it would better suit him. Upon that, he got a whole red torso with only one gray piece in the middle. And he got the Autobot insignia printed right there. And this red is makes the figure look kind of bland because like there's a lot of details and could have been improved with some panel linings or some paint. And I think I'm gonna do that for my figures. And up next, we have the arms. And with this arm section over here, as you can see, it's the same as Grimlock with a lot of mechanical details, and I absolutely love that. And the one thing is that he got some shading onto his shoulders, and that looks really nice. It's just like highlighting the figures. And moving down to the leg, this is the same old thing Grimlock, and we got a yellow feet section like i said this is like a tons of mechanical details and i absolutely love it now turn to the back and this is the case of keyboard nightmare but i guess this is a g1 looking so it just stays the same like that and for the wing section over here just look inside there's a lot of details and this is an accuracy to g1 but i think with some third companies if they can do a like a masterpiece style slack figures they're gonna put a join over here so can the wings can bend inward it doesn't look like wings anymore but this is something that came with all of the g1 pictures so yeah i appreciate it it's not so nostalgic and look at the details onto the back of the wings you got some i think that is some like some guns or some backpack or something and about the dinosaur head i'm gonna review it in the dinosaur mode and now i'm gonna bring in his companion this is exosuit daniel with wiki and I'm got, this is a pretty boring exosuit in my opinion because just look how bland that is I mean like he could have been a lot more better than this but because the thing is that they made him in the same way that they make Willy so yeah it's kind of boring you got some white and some, you got some white and then you got some lavender greenish some blue and some yellow with no face cut or anything so it makes me makes him looks like a condom robot or something yeah he's not that interesting and so yeah this is whole thing this whole thing is hollow at least like in my opinion daniel here is better than really just like if you're gonna sit him try to stand him up like this he is still in some kind of poses like sumo's wrestling or like landing poses i mean that is okay because of the arms the way the arm is proportioned it's not like he's holding a slingshot anymore so that is over. That is enough for Willy. And now let's get to his accessories. So the only accessories that comes with him is his blaster. It's a piece of grey plastic with some details on it. And to attach it, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna plug it onto his hand, just like that. And do he now? He can do some pew pew bang bang. And because the Daniel here is the same thing as Willy, so of course he can sit onto his slack shoulder. So just like tapping, slotting him in, just like that. Yeah. You can display them like that if you like to and that could be it and I think now let's get to his articulation so we begin the articulation with the head you can look up really far because of the transformation and down really far thanks for transformation his head can rotate but I don't see the point of it because there's this whole dinosaur head behind him his shoulder can swing out like that can do a full 360 and one thing that really amazes me is that the wing does not affect the swing, the rotation of the arms. It just fit in perfectly. You got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, and a hand rotation. 
And that is it. Now to the waist. We've got a full 360 right. Head of wish, this is Ratchet Tron. And the legs can kick to the front, kick to the back. This is, we have a nice split. And a thigh swivel. The bend of the knee is superb. This is the transformation. That's like really deep. And you got a pivot. Which is nice. I mean like articulation is decent for a figure like this. I was expecting the same thing with all of these figures because like to be honest, they manage this guy transformer to an animal. So that is like less less effort because the animal modes also need to have joints for their leg and stuff. So that is pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean I enjoy him as a figure and I think that the poses of him would look superb next to Grimlock or any other Studio Series figures. And so now let's get to the transformation. So, finishing transforming slack, I must say that this is a fairly satisfying transformation sequence. I definitely feel the intrigue, I definitely felt intrigue and enjoyed the transformation more than the Studio Series Grimlock. But this is, might be my own problems. But now let's get into some details. So I mean like, first thing I gotta notice and I, I gotta mention about this dinosaur mode is the face sculpt, the head sculpt. And I mean this is a really interesting and I must, I mean like beautiful Scott, you got golden paint and I mean not like the disgusting gold paint, this is a really nice gold paint and then you got the horns and you got the metallic blue eyes which is like really nicely painted and you got the Autobot insignia on it, that is interesting and the whole proportion of the body looks nice, like, like you got the choppiness of a Triceratops and that you still got the old the mechanical details, all this plating and now just make a lot more sense here now and I must admit that I love the way they managed to hide the guns underneath the tails here. It's just, just really nice. That is a nice weapon storage over here. That is better than Grimlock for sure. And of course you can still have Daniel sitting on Slack. Something like this. And there we go. Yeah, Daniel can still sitting on top of Slack. Right here. And that is really nicely done. And I mean like all the proportion looks really nice now. And one thing I like about the head is that if you open his mouth, you see that then like there's this layer like a tongue over here that cover up the head. I put a lot of old toys here, it's gonna rotate the head, push it in and then we open the mouth to still see the head. But here they managed to cover that up and I mean that is some nicely done mechanic to hide away a robot head. And I absolutely enjoy that to be honest with you guys. And of course at this point you still have some articulation. I'm not, I'm not gonna mention the front leg because that is basically the robot arms over here but for the back leg that you can see you can do a full rotation and this is like on some hip joint like that and I mean that is decent enough that, that count you doesn't need to have it but that counts and so yeah so now size comparison here we have slack next to Grimlock and I must say they love they looks lovely next to one another and with this i think that takara and hasbro will continue releasing the ss86 line and probably we've done the whole dinobot team and on that day i would really love to have them all together i have been waiting for that a new dinobot a new g1 dinobot team for a while and that sums up my video about the transformer studio series 86 leader class slack and daniel exosuit tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below and don't forget to like and share this video and if you are new to my channel feel free to subscribe and follow me on instagram that is where i do most of my poses and if you feel like you can help me out with some future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link will be in the description right on out